Hello friends, this is Rupesh and you're watching C++ video series on C++ and today's topic is I'm place in C++. I'm sure so many people would have seen insert, push in STL but I'm place is quite rare but it is really very important. Okay, so this video is going to be whether you should use insert or I'm place and which is good and which is not that good and in some scenarios you cannot use I'm place. Uh, what I mean is, okay, let's uh, start from the beginning. So the point is all the containers support insert and emplace operation to store data. So I'm sure you might have seen push and insert. I mean push is not there for each and every container. Sorry, uh, STL container, yes. But insert is there in almost every container and emplace is also there for every container. But the point is they both actually store the data inside your container. What I mean is let's suppose you have this set here which is taking this a data type this is a class here okay so this is going to take objects of this class inside this okay so we have two options we can go for insert and emplace okay so second point is emplace is used to construct object in place this is very important point and avoids unnecessary copy of the object so what is unnecessary we'll see in a moment wait a minute and the third point is insert and amplex is equal for primitive data type. Yes, actually if I'll give you the difference between amplex and insert and if I'll use primitive data type like integer character and all that, then it won't make any sense. So that's why I have created this class for you. And this operator I have given so that this set can compare one object with another object so that it can place inside its own data structure, whatever it uses. So this is the minimum requirement actually for your class so that you can use set for that class objects to be stored. Okay, so insert and emplace is equal for primitive data type. They don't make any difference here when you use primitive data type. But when we deal with heavy objects, like uh, if you know image processing, image have so much of data. Okay, so it depends how big image is, but still it have I mean, it will have so much of data. So if you will use insert or emplace, it will make a big difference there. So we should use emplace if we are looking for efficiency. So let's see what actually it means. So first, let me just comment out this emplace here and save it and let's compile this. So if I'll compile this, let's compile successfully and let's run this. So it is saying that construct and copy. First, let's see the behavior of your program first. So see, you have this temporary object, this A, or for better clarity, I would say something like this. Let's take this out. I did that intentionally. So you have this A and you have this object and you're pushing 10 inside that and you're done and you're giving that A here. Now you are constructing not a temporary object and then object is passed to this insert function and this object is now inserted into this set. Correct? This is cool, right? So let's compile this piece of code and see the difference. There won't be any difference for say, yeah, see, again it is construct and copy. So it is obvious that first you are constructing the object and then you are placing that inside your set. And then let's suppose you don't need this object anymore here. Why you created this object in the first place just because you wanted to insert this object inside this set so that you can do some operation. But now you don't need this. So what happened actually, you created an object. So the constructor was called here and then you copied that object into this set. So what happened in set also, one object was created so that this copy was called. Okay, but can you see that you are doing two operations here just because you wanted to insert something inside your set. But now listen this carefully. If you don't need this, then I have an alternative for you. What you can do is see what you was doing before. I mean, what I gave you the example before was something like this. Okay, 10 here. Okay, okay, sorry, 10 here. So we saw something like this. And if you will see the behavior is still same see i'll compile it see and see it is exactly the same thing now so is there a better approach so that you don't have to do this 
construct and copy can you just simply construct not copy yes you can do that using this one so what you want is you wanted to place this object which contain 10 inside this set correct so let's compile this code now what it is saying is i will and place means I will construct the object inside this set. Do just pass me the value you want to insert into that object. Don't pass me the full object like you passed in insert case. No, I don't need that. I just need the parameters for your object to be constructed. And I will construct that object by my own. Okay, so don't worry about that. So let's compile this code now. See, voila. Now we have only construction. We are not doing any copy here and still we have this object created inside set let me just show you that so for that i need something like this for auto ref so this dot x should be there correct so now yeah so if i'll compile this now and if i'll execute this see we get this 10 and in case of this case let's comment out this one and execute this one and compile this one execute again see we have construct copy and then still we have 10 inside our set but in this case we ended up doing this unnecessary copy and that's what i said right you can avoid unnecessary copy of the objects and yes obviously if it is a trivial or primitive data type then it won't make any sense i mean it it is it is okay but when it comes to heavy objects then it is a problem so let's summarize this video let me just see if i have something left here i don't think so if you have comment please let me know in the comment section i'll surely answer that thanks for watching i'll see you in the next videos guys and thanks for your support bye bye